communist gaming. That's right, I just found this thing while searching through a bunch of my old stuff. And it turns out, this is my mom's childhood gaming console, straight from USSR. This is a simple LCD game, and it was actually produced first in 1984. It reads, Electronica, nu pogadi, which is a very popular Soviet cartoon. On the back here, it doesn't say which year was produced, so I'm still speculating. But it says that the price at the time was 23 rubles. Considering inflation and converting the currency, this would be about 40 bucks right now in today's money. The battery lid is missing, but I found some batteries laying around, just some random pancake batteries. And if you hold it down, look, it actually starts up and if you press game A, you can actually play it. So here's how you'd usually play it. You would have this wolf guy and he would have the chickens, so you're supposed to catch all those eggs. And it progressively gets harder. These buttons are a bit sticky and it's kind of hard to even see on the screen. Now this thing is covered in gunk. I don't know if you can see but there's gunk all over the screen. The buttons are a bit sticky. They don't really feel nice. There's a bunch of crap all over this place. I mean this thing was from the late 80s to early 90s I think. Now if you're starting to feel proud about Soviet Union even though you probably never lived there I want to break your expectations because this was actually a copycat of an original Nintendo game called Egg, which was first released in 1981, where a similar looking wolf character would catch the eggs coming from chickens. Now I kind of wanted to preserve this piece and also restore it to its original glory, so today we're gonna take this thing apart, look what's inside it, and clean up some of this gunk. Now there's six screws in here, so I'm just gonna carefully start taking them out. It's a very old technology and it's all very fragile. This screw looks like to be filled with... What is this? Soviet... Boogers or... Looks like modeling clay. Let's crack this thing open. Very, very carefully. Now, I'm a little bit afraid of breaking this thing, but at the same time, the technology back then was so archaic and simple that I think I'll just get away with soldering some stuff back on. And, carefully, opening the case, here we go. This is what 1980s electronics was back in the day. Speaker, piezo speaker, there's a big, thick CPU in there. So let's remove this main board. Hopefully there's nothing connected to it that will mess us up. And... Ooh, here we go! Move this back in very carefully. Here's the buttons. They look very gunky. I'm gonna carefully take them out and clean them. The membranes and all the buttons can come out now. Same with this cluster of buttons. Let's see, turn this around and pop them out. Honestly, it looks fine the way that it is. It's not all that dirty on the inside, but on the outside it needs some love. Very carefully clean it with some rubbing alcohol. Make it look real nice, because, yeah, this edge here, you can see where it was sitting in there. Just look at how nasty this tip looked after I did the cleaning. These spots especially need to be cleaned, because these are where the contact always touches. For here and for here. I have to say, genuinely, I was pleasantly surprised with how clean the board itself is. I thought it would be all corroded and have a bunch of corrosion and stuff and kind of be at the end of its lifespan, but nope. Seems like it got preserved quite well, even though it sat for a very, very long time. Just check out... Look at how gunked up those little buttons are. Ew. Ew. Look at how dirty this thing is. Was. Alright, now to the most important part, and that's cleaning the case itself.
Now the battery lead for this thing was lost, but I designed and 3D printed this little replacement. It did take some adjustments to get it right, but look at that. It looks factory, man. All right, let's play. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, I'm doing it. Oh, this is so fun. Can you imagine that your life was just this? This is what you had to do for hours instead of playing modern video games and watching YouTube. So whenever you had nothing to do, you would just do this all day. Ooh, 10 points. Now the buttons feel way nicer. The screen is much clearer too. See, it does get pretty hardcore at the end. So you have to be a hardcore USSR gamer to beat this game. This is actually pretty fun. Ooh, ooh. Catch. If you miss one, you see the egg falls and a little chicken appears here. So you get only three lives, I guess you could say. So now I'm gonna miss another one and game over. Got 40 points, new high score. Ooh, look at this. I just pressed a button and it seems like I can actually set the times. Right now it's 10.15 and it goes accurately with my screen right here. And if you press this button, I also set an alarm for 10.17. We're gonna see how the alarm functionality of this thing works. Any second now. Look at this animation. The rabbit is actually swinging around the bell, trying to wake me up. This is very interesting. Such a neat little detail, look at that. I've never seen anything like this. I'm keeping it, I'm using it, dude. Forget all the 10 alarms on my phone, replace it with Electronica IM02. <laughs> this is so cool. While it's on standby, it plays this pretty cool demo animation. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this 80s game console, please leave a like on this video and probably subscribe to the channel too. Should be right here. I'm leaving you for now. Some more cool projects are coming and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.